ஐ வெல்கம் எவ்ரி ஒன் டு ஒரு யூடியூப் சேனல் ஏயோ கிரே ஆர்கானிக்ஸ் வென் வி கோ டு ஐசிஆர் எக்ஸாம் டாட் நெட் வெப்சைட் தேர் வி கேன் ஃபைண்ட் ஒன் பிடிஎஃப் வித் ரிலேட்டட் டு சம் கோர்ட் கேஸ் இன் ஹை கோர்ட் ஆஃப் டெல்லி so they have given that information regarding the accreditation of icr so this has been given as a petition by one person and it has been responded by the respondent in honorable high court of delhi and finally they have given some information about this so we can see this clearly in this video here this has been given on the order on 22nd december 2022 it has been given as a petition by bupender and it has been uh, argued by or uh, responded by union of uh, india and uh, icr through their advocates for that uh, in the first point what they have mentioned is uh, of the petitioner he is a student of uh, bachelor course in international institute of veterinary education and research roktak so he has uh, given an entrance examination through icr uh, all india entrance examination for admission which is conducted by national testing agency that is nta and it is supervised by indian council of agricultural research in the second point what they have mentioned is uh, petitioner has submitted that he has ranked first in all india ranking but he is uh, not permitted to participate in icr counseling because uh, mm-hmm. college or institute from where he studied was not accredited by icr so this is the reason next with regard to this third point what they have mentioned is uh, that is uh, that petitioner has mentioned he was uh, doing his bachelor degree affiliated to lala lajpat rai university of veterinary and animal centers in haryana and that university was accredited by with icr till 2022 2021 with regard to the first schedule of indian veterinary council act 1984 the college where he studied was recognized and it was affiliated to that university and it was also recognized so he further claims that it is governed by indian veterinary council act not by icr like that they have mentioned as this is an veterinary course yes. icr should not involved in this only veterinary council should involved in this so if icr involved in this this is an unlawful activity so like that they have mentioned this is a simple explanation for that points and uh, they also given some information with regard to veterinary council of india versus uh, indian council of agricultural research that happened in 2000 so they also published uh, some information related to this next with regard to that uh, petition that petition has been filed with two points one is direct the respondent to consider the petitioner in admission process that is responder means icr icr should consider that person's petition and they should take him for admission and declare that the requirement that veterinary colleges need accreditation from icr for consideration in icr entrance examination is null and void that is uh, what they are telling is as it is a veterinary course then icr should not involve in this and they should not tell that icr should accredit that particular veterinary colleges or veterinary university if icr tells that one then this is a unlawful and it is a void like that they are telling with regard to this uh, responder that is icr this icr accreditation process is already from the year 2017 to 2018 from that academic year itself icr is following this icr accreditation and they have clearly mentioned this this in information bulletin that is issued by icr for that purpose of this examination from that year 2017 to till the year this icr accreditation process is going on so that particular university or college the student who has studied their bachelor degree or masters degree should have been accredited by icr for their further higher studies like that they have mentioned here this is simple explanation for this sixth point counter affidavit that is the respondent should file the or they should answer for this question within 10 days like that they have given next to three got to the eighth point in the meanwhile that is if any icr admission has to be made in future for the pg courses it should be based on the judgment given by this honorable high court of delhi in this case that is what the judgment they are giving in this particular case they have to follow that one icr should give information to all the candidates those who are seeking the admission through icr entrance examination for the pg courses in all india quota so what the judgment they are giving from this uh, court case they have to give information to the particular uh, students those who are seeking admission through this icr uh, court or uh, icr all india quota and what is the judgment to come for this uh, particular case should be considered uh, for the further admission process like that they have mentioned here and i think so next uh, hearing will be on 12th 
ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी नाइन ट्वेंटी टेन ट्वेंटी एलेवन ट्वेंटी ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी थर्टीन ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन ट्वेंटी एटीन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी 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 ट्व